We're at Warwick University. So I'm Christopher Jaynes, uh, founder and CTO of Immersive. We're here to talk about Solstice. And I really do want to focus on educational spaces and how we're using the product in those spaces now. How it changes teaching and how it can be used to engage students in a better way than the old video cable. When there's not a cable going from, you know, me to that, then that thing can become a communications device. We're in the Oculus building, our first dedicated teaching and learning building on campus. A device can come into a space and just present wirelessly. The Oculus, uh, it actually when it opened, had Solstice in I think more than 20 rooms. We don't just simply focus on the teaching space and the technology. We think about the space immediately outside, indoors, outdoors, and how we can incorporate the technology. I think the student community picked up the technology almost immediately. The user interface is very familiar to them in terms of their mobile devices, so students were on board as soon as we opened the building. Rooms that are allowing students to share iPads seem to have better scores. These sessions are super important to me. I love having them. Our whole company is based on the idea that software is far more flexible and more responsive to user needs than hardware, so we're developing a roadmap that comes out of these dialogues. It'll be a bit interactive. So I see Chris's office there. And I'll give a live demo of Solstice. I'm going to connect to it and you know there's my desktop. And it's a live video feed that runs at 30 Hertz 1080p. So that media file sharing option, I can do that as many times as I want. So Solstice will let you just throw content into the session like paper on a table. That's kind of what the metaphor was when we designed the user interface. I'm also going to show Multiroom that we launched last year. Do you want to throw a video on there? Now we have the exact same user experience in both locations. And then preview some stuff from the roadmap because these become dialogues pretty quick. Let's stack all of your space stuff together. And it becomes a 3D stack now that holds his content. Educational customers for us are really important. They tend to share more information amongst each other and their colleagues. So when you have a success at a university, you'll tend to have that same success elsewhere because the news will spread quickly. We added the Merced pods to each cluster of PCs to allow students to present wirelessly. But why they're valuable to us is they're really creative. New use cases come out of the higher ed space for us all the time. We've got a new faculty of arts building. We kind of have cables trailing around the room. It's like uh, the car manufacturers and their Formula One teams. It's like the on their screen. Okay. That's really interesting. I think it's been useful to hear sort of practical examples of immersive installations from other universities. Today was fantastic. I would totally sum it up in a couple words. It was open, collaborative, and fun.